to show a couple basic things and then I'm going to connect this with uh, another video. But what if you wanted to type in um, 8 divided by 3 plus 2. Okay, one of the reasons why I really liked the Inspire when it came out is because of this pretty print. Um, and not only can you have it on the, the output, but you could also do it on the input. And you look at this, you're like, what? That's not what I meant. I meant 8. Control divided by gives you that fraction template. Uh, yes, in this um, in this little math template, it gives you all sorts of other ones, and there's the first choice is that fraction template. So you could say 8 divided by 3 plus 2. And, and there you get your answer. Hmm. 8 fifths. Is that what you were expecting? Perhaps you wanted to press control and DC just above enter. There's a little squiggly equals. Yes, approximately equals. There you go. There's your decimal approximation. Well, the question we're going to address is how to type this in, um, how to, uh, to evaluate that. So if you wanted to do a 72 and down here's the Y, X, Y, Z, nice and in, in gray, and to do any sort of exponent, use the caret, uh, raised to the power of 3. And a common mistake is they keep typing. They go plus 35, what? What? Oh, no, it's up here. I needed it to be um, down. And so, oh, don't forget, um, we want to do the control divided by because we want to have everything there. All right, so we were just up here. If you press tab, you'll go to the next little zone, tabs, tab zones. Um, or yes, you could just arrow to the right. And then let's see here. How about a plus 35 and y? And look, there's another kind of uh, squared. And, and if you use this instead of the caret, then you're still down low. It, it doesn't say, oh, do you want to do some other exponent, like 3 plus 35 as an exponent? <laughs> All right, and then uh, plus 11y plus 14. Yes, you can arrow down, or let's try a tab. Boom, now I'm down here. 8y plus 3. Press enter. Hmm. Wait, I thought I was going to evaluate it. Yeah, um, how about uh, let's try one of the tools in menu, algebra, and uh, we'll see here in just a minute. A good solution is expand. Up arrow, press enter, and it copies and pastes it down, and we press enter, and that's the kind of expression you were expecting for your solution. So let's Hey there, this is Mr. Bird. Got a question saying, Hi, I'm new to this site and am searching for help to work my new calculator. The TI Inspire CAS uh, is what the, uh, it says, How to enter a problem into TI Inspire CAS was the, the title uh, subject of the email. Uh, she said, which is, as much as I paid for it, should answer any and all questions. Now I just need to learn how to ask it. How do I enter problems like this into my calculator? When I try it, it says info is incomplete. And she says, I've tried it with the multiplication sign between, and that didn't work either. I'm very new at this and need clear, simple answers in order to understand. Thank you guys. In advance, uh, this came from Rose. All right, well, I'm going to show you a little a couple of tips here. If you hold down Shift and uh, arrow over, then you can select. You can select some, some text. So I'm going to select this text. And like on a computer, you can go Control C, and uh, in order to copy, and I'm going to paste it over here with a Control V. So there we paste it in. Now it needs a little bit of fixing before I just press Enter. Uh, so for example, get rid of the by and, and probably the space. Hey, let's see what happens if I don't get rid of that space. What does the space imply? Um, and 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 so you press Enter, and. And so it didn't mind the space, but that's not what you were expecting. So, uh, what to do? Um, well, there's this nice feature, like a computer, Control Z or Control um, Escape. And it looks like I want to press Control Escape again. And, and so let's do some, some things like um, if I close parentheses, here's the parentheses right here. If you press close parentheses, it puts the open parentheses at the beginning because we wanted to divide this whole thing. And actually, I'm going to use control divided by. Control divided by, we want to divide this whole thing um, by 8y plus 3 and not have this in the end. Now, sure, I could have used um, parentheses uh, as well. Uh, for this, and, and it would have um, behaved just fine, but you press enter, and you're like, hey, that's you know true, but not very uh, interesting. Now, if you press menu, then that's how you ask your Inspire to do something. So, um, 
uh, again, uh, the, the thing was, uh, just need to learn how to ask it. Yep, and um, big tip for how to ask it is you press menu. So, what, which one of these options? There's now nine options. So you can only be wrong about uh, eight times, and then you'll, you'll be correct. Or nine. Uh, well, it's not function programs. That's nice for if you want to write a program. And uh, finance is uh, kind of a specialized thing. And we're not dealing with probability, statistics, or calculus. Um, so let's guess it's going to be under algebra. So under algebra, we have things like we could solve an equation. You could factor expressions. You could expand expressions. Well, this one was not factorable. And actually, expand is going to be a good answer. So the short answer to your question is use expand. Uh, so let's click expand. I'm going to up arrow, press enter, and I think this is what you're expecting. There are some other interesting things to, to show you. Uh, so for example, one of the first things that came to mind was under algebra. Did you see polynomial tools? So how about if you wanted to to do the uh, quotient of a polynomial, and then we would need to, to note the remainder as well. Uh, and, and so let's try that. So if we hit quotient, and we wanted to, to use this up here, well, I'll tell you what, this isn't going to work right there. It says too few arguments, and I'll explain why it doesn't work. Under catalog, you can um, press, so if you're using cast, then you have a nice feature called the, uh, the conversion of units, and so that's lots of fun converting units. If you press number two, then here's the uh, the different commands, but they're in a, in a nice um, little list here. So you can see that I'm arrowing up and down. Um, I think I got about to the top there to see how it goes number, and a little further down, algebra. And then you saw how there's calculus, probability, and statistics. Okay, so under algebra, there's the solve, factor, expand. Hey, did you notice uh, solve an equation, comma, variable, factor, an expression, and you can give it what the variable is. Expand, that's what we just did. Uh, there's zeros, complete the square, numeric, and how about polynomial tools? So under polynomial tools, there's some, some various options, including the quotient of a polynomial. So you give it polynomial 1, comma, polynomial 2, 2, and it'll give you the, uh, the quotient. Some of these um, have little wizards, and so those are fun to play with and explore. Or finding the real roots or, um, or doing uh, complex roots of a polynomial. All right, so I'm going to press Escape, and then we're going to fix this up. Um, how about we use that shift and select it, maybe even cut it, control X. We'll cut and press delete, and then um, don't need those parentheses on there. Um, so there, you don't need them, it would have hurt anything if we left them. Comma and the other expression, uh, 8y plus 3. Press enter, this gives us the 9y squared plus y plus 1 part of it, and then if we um, wanted to do that again with menu, algebra, polynomial tools, and if we wanted to see what the remainder was. Now, we already know what the remainder is. The remainder is going to be 11. And, but if you wanted to see it, then, all right, we can come up here and select that part of it. Um, how about a, hmm, how about just press enter? Have that selected and a copy and pasted it down for you. And that nice thing about uh, the calculator page, the calculator application. And so there's the remainder of 11. Uh, I think graphing this is, is also pretty interesting. If we were to uh, graph our this, <laughs> well, let's take a look at a couple graphing things. If you were to graph that, control V to paste it in there, well, notice it's a function of x. So you can't put y's in here. So we could change it to x so we can see what it would look like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. I think fix all the X's. And so here's this uh, tip for changing the viewing window. If you hold down Shift and, and grab that with a Control click to grab something, then we could make it look even prettier. Stretch it out a little bit, and uh, now you can move both of the axes at the same time with an up and down, or we could just change that. So that was a, a Shift and uh, with the grabbing it, then you could just move one axis or the other. So here's this, and if you thought the quotient answer, control C, and come over here and 
tab and control V. Oops, don't forget, it needs to be an X. So if you thought, oh, well, this is, must be the quotient of it. Hmm, something's missing, a.k.a. the remainder. Tab, up arrow, and uh, so plus my remainder, 11. I like the control divided by quite a bit. And 8x plus 3. Boom. Oh, there it is. It matches up quite nicely. Yeah, so uh, graphing calculator is great to explore things graphically, as well as algebraically, especially with CAS.